And you can feel the difference when you fast. You can feel the difference when you fast on water, to when you fast on grape juice, when you fast on lemon juice. So you play around, you have fun. You fast on water, you fast on grape juice, you fast on lemon juice. You have fun with this. Because the game is between you and what you've done to your body. And taking, uh, taking the laws of nature, taking the laws of science, what we know in science, not pseudo-pharmaceutical science, real science, and physics. Look at quantum physics and what we're, we're discovering about intelligence and consciousness. Spiritual people already know that. But we needed a tie for the intellectual. We needed to give them a, a roadway to God. And quantum physics is offering that roadway. But okay. But detoxification is a very real experience, guys, and I appreciate you listening to this video. I uh, had to put this one out because of this lady. Uh, it, it, it's just, this goes to every single one of us. Detoxification isn't a I feel good all the time scenario. And if you're that toxic where you go right into tumors popping out and you're getting pneumonia type symptoms, you're one toxic puppy. And that's serious. I suggest to uh, those that are in that environment to get back and to go deeper and get this cleaned out. That's why the ex we are experts in detoxification. We're here to help you. That cuts the men from the boys. Those that can take you down a road of pneumonias and stuff like this. Because if you've got congestion in your lungs, it's going to come out. Because it's either come out or down the way you've got pneumonia or any type of COPD. Enjoy that if you will, but it's sure a lot better to get it out now and not suffer the consequences in the future because breathing is nice on this planet. But this is all about an art and helping people. The hospitals should be detoxification centers with flowers and plants all around and, and the understanding and the knowledge of chemistry and physics as it's applied to health and vitality, as it's applied to the human body, not how it's applied to laboratory rats and, and, and some pseudoscience playing out outside of the realm of anything that makes sense. So hospitals need to turn themselves into detoxification centers, learn the art. Medical doctors learn the art of detoxification. Yes, you have tools there that you can use for the most advanced because there are those out there that are extremely advanced. And detoxification is a tiptoe through the tulips. Let me tell you, push, pull, start, go. Sometimes I stop detoxification in people. Sometimes I kick it up another notch. It's, it's, it's learning that art of when you go deeper or when you back up a little bit. You can always visit the deeper, but you sometimes need to slow up. Sometimes we give people things in detoxification, like cooked foods. Once in a while, throw a piece of dead animal your way just, just to keep you balanced. Some people feel they have to eat dead animals. Okay. But the bottom line is learn detoxification. And you'll not learn it any more than strap on the, uh, the, the, the pants and ride the bull, or put the robe on, and learn that healing crises are very real. They're anywhere from minor aches and pains to severe pain to the expectoration of, of kidney stones and gallstones, to the expectoration of tremendous mucus out of the lungs and bronchi giving you pneumonia-like symptoms. Okay. What do you think pneumonia is in the first place? Pneumococcus? Huh. 40% of uh, pneumonia cases have no pneumococcus present. Hmm. Doesn't sound real to me. You know, we're always blaming the messenger and not the, not the end product of mucus and diet and lifestyles and mucus-forming foods. We don't want to blame that. We want to blame what God has on the planet to help us deal with that. So learning the reality of this is important for you, and I do appreciate your lovely ones. I apologize for this video in certain ways, but in certain ways you have to learn detoxification and the power it offers you. It's a very real power, and it's a very real experience. And you can have ups and downs, or your experience can be smooth and right on down the road. Not everybody has these gigantic healing crises. Some don't. Some have very little, simple. Others have tremendous ones. I've had blindness. I've had paralysis for, for a few minutes, an hour, and then it's all gone. And now they have a vision to die for. They have, they have health and vigor. I mean, it's amazing what can, one can go through. I have no control of this. By simply eating the foods your body's designed to eat, and taking a few herbal formulas designed to enhance the function of cells and to help clean the body out. That's all we have, guys. That's all we have. 
except your consciousness and the reality of what happens when you hook to God. And bringing in that gigantic power and energy is also part of the detoxification process. So have fun, ride the bull. If you get emotionally ratted out, grab a hold of yourself. Find that center, find that nowness, and that's why I do these spiritual videos with this. Because for those that are emotionally ratted out, that's your adrenal glands. Those are, that have uh, too big of egos, grab a hold of that thyroid, parathyroid. Those that don't feel like, they're, feel like they're inferior to everyone else, grab the thyroid. Same thing. Start empowering yourself. You're all beautiful souls. You're all worth it. You're the beauty of God here on this planet. Don't sell yourself short for any reason whatsoever. Everything is God here. Start viewing everything as God and your life, I guarantee you, will be totally changed. Every animal you see, see it God in expression. Everything you see, the chair, the desk, God in expression. And pretty soon you'll still like Rumi, you'll see every single atom as God. That's nirvanic. That's ecstasy. That's bliss. Because it takes the separation. It takes the fear out. It takes the, it, it empowers you instead of disempowers you. And that's what this is all about. That's what detoxification is about because in the end, end result, you'll be leaving your physical body here. So getting it healthy, good art. But learning who you are and learning who you are beyond the physical body, better, better. Because you will be leaving the body and you don't want to leave in fear. You want to leave in joy, rejoice and beauty and excitement for your journey and, and, and the same way with uh, leaving you what you created here so it's all fun and it's all good so you guys uh, thank you so much for viewing these videos I have a lot of questions I'm gonna be busy this week I'm gonna shoot out a lot of videos and unfortunately uh, the the gentleman that does our shipping is on vacation so Chris has to do it and these are going to be legging a little this week so apologize we're just a small little place so we're trying to rectify that uh, but uh, I have a lot of questions to get to you and I will do that uh, someone has got some B12 questions again <laughs> so I started to have vision problems taking B12 shots I don't give any of that and then create the kidneys of course the kidneys this is why detoxification is focusing a lot on the eliminative organs the kidneys that's creatinine you know we're, we're losing our kidneys and yet man is not focused on the kidneys we are the number one uh, clinic around the world that's focused on the kidneys and adrenals as intensive as we have in the essential need of moving limbs. That's not out there. But you guys know it. And you guys are going to be the healers of the world and are. Uh, the stories I'm getting about you guys are really good. So keep it up, guys. Thank you very much. I love every one of you. Thank you for viewing our videos. And they're your videos, too. I, I, you, you're, you're part of the family here. I feel real close to a lot of you, and I've never met you, but I feel you and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Namaste.